Skadoosh! 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 Ninjas, what's up, man? Pre-release weekend. Hope you guys are having a blast out there. Uh, I know I'm going to have a blast tonight on Twitch. Make sure you guys check me out. We'll probably do another sealed event. Have some more fun since we did go seven wins last time on Twitch live. Uh, pretty cool. So let's get into cracking open these two pre-release kits. Baby, baby, give your LGS a shout out wherever it is your LGS is located. Let me know where you're attending. Um, and yeah, man, this is going to be so cool. Uh, all weekend, baby. It is the all weekend sauce. Ooh, I don't want to see what it is. I don't want to see what it is. We got to put it over here. We got to put it over here. In disguise. In disguise. Ooh, I think I already know what it is. Too bad. All right. Okay. Four. Five. We're getting closer. Woo! There is a god. God of Eternals. Oh my god. So many things. Seven. Seventeen has seven in it. Four. Thirteen. Okay. No one wants to watch me do that. But we have fun. We have fun. Let's get to cracking. Captain, baby. The excitement's real. I'm just so pumped. I'm sorry. I cannot, I can't contain it. I can't contain it, man. I'm just so excited to use the new cards, the new set, a very powerful set. Needless to say, I think we all are well aware of that by now. And all these planeswalkers, I mean, really, really cool. Tibalt's Rager. Ah, man, I got a Rager right now. The whole weekend I got a Rager. I don't know about you guys. Boom! Starts out with Ral. Storm can do it, baby. Wow. So that is out. We're already off to a really good start with that. Ral is pretty beast mode, man. There's uh, some speculation. Ral's going to jump in price. And I think those people speculating might be right. I think they're right. Goblin Assault Team, pretty cool. Um, uh, weird. I just like the name Weird on stuff. Are you weird? I'm weird. I don't know how weird you guys are, but I'm really weird. Okay. Yeah, it's my girlfriend. Uh, Bond of Discipline. There we go. Invade the City. Ashiach Dream Rendor. And Silence of Merciful. So it looks like we would definitely be going blue-red uh, so far from what I'm seeing. Maybe maybe Splash Black for that? No, probably not. I don't think Ashiach would really help us out too much. Uh, no, it probably wouldn't help us out too much. Not in a uh, sealed, so. But nonetheless, a Citizen Token right there. Pretty sweet. And we got a foil. Now here is Stone Blades, baby, baby. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Another Goblin Assault team. Has it been on top of every single pack? That's like three in a row. I had Goblin Assault team on top. Am I am I just tripping, boo? Boo, am I tripping? Oh, look. This stuff's weird, man. I want to see. Is there a, a rare weird? Is there a weird rare? <laughs> Nissa's Triumph. Really good card. Bond of Insight. Tybalt Instigator, baby. And Ignite the Beacon. Search your library for up to two Planeswalker cards. Reveal them. Put them in your hand and shuffle your library. That alone could make it worth running uh, or putting white in the deck. But I haven't seen really too much power in white. Honest to God, if you... <laughs> God, no pun intended. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba, we have puns. Honest to God, though, if you guys want to win the event, you got to have good pulls. Um, any gods are a bomb in this event. You get a, you get one god, man, and if you could just pull it in, like, two or three matches, I mean, you're almost guaranteed to win that match. That's what I've noticed. Um, and then, of course, you know, some other cards and good synergy around that, you know, god or whatever. Really, really benefits like crazy. Jace, wielder of mysteries. Pretty cool. Uh, I think this is the first or second one I pulled. I'm going to read it again. If you would draw a card while your library has no cards in it, you win the game instead. Pretty sweet. For plus one, target player puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. Draw a card. Minus eight, draw seven cards. Then if your library has no cards in it, you win the game. Pretty cool. Pretty cool card. Um, that could be used and abused. I think there's already a deck out there that could easily make that go off like crazy. Pretty nuts. Uh, Ashiak Skulker. But not in standard, though. Not in standard. Not in standard. Bleeding Edge. Ah, yes. The bloodiness of it all. I like that in foil. They're pretty cool. Heartwarming. Davin Hand of Control. Dreadhorde Arcanist. Yeah, we would definitely be doing pretty solid in this event if we go with um, red and... What was the other card we were talking about? Red and blue. Red, blue would really be... We would. This would be a good pre-release kit. The first one I had, Devil Token. The first kit... Um, the very first one I opened on camera, that was a bomb. We we would have just destroyed the event, without a doubt. Goblin Assailant. Goblin Assailant. What's your guys' win record? I know some of you have already participated. Some of you are about to participate. Let me know your win record. I'd like to hear it, baby. Right now, currently, I am 7-2. That's my win-loss ratio, currently. Uh, Kasmina, Enigmatic Mentor, and Plain Wide Celebration. So we got a little weak sauce in the end there. But that doesn't mean we didn't pull an angel. Isn't she beautiful? Um, what's going to be in here? Foom, foom. Servo token. An Angrath Captain of Chaos. All right, we already pulled a foil one of that. What's on the flip, though? Oh, my God, what is it? Oh, 
Ooh, finale of Revelation Mythic. I will take that. That's really cool. Not bad at all. Of course, I'm going to open it up. What are you, what are you, silly? What are you, silly over here, Billy? Of course, we're going to open it up, baby. Not one of the better um, sorceries, but you never know. Cook it out of control. But that is the promo, man. So that is our promo. It's pretty sweet right there. Taking it, baby. Taking it. On to the next one. Oh, hot dogs. Hot dogs. So many sets, or not sets, so many different kind of cards and synergy. Like, I'm just, I'm just, my mind is fried right now from thinking of all the things, all the decks I'm going to build. But the best way, I think, to really learn the cards is probably to participate in a pre-release event. Seven. Two. Come on, man. Um, it's probably to participate in, uh, in events, you know, at the LGS. If you really want to know these cards. Or like a sealed event, like on Arena or whatever, you know. Um, that's probably the best route to go. From my own experience, you know, just going and net decking somebody, you don't really learn much about the cards. But if you actually go and just start playing in the events and playing with the cards, that's how you get a really good feel for the cards. Especially when you're forced to use them, like in a sealed event, like you just got to figure out synergy. I think that's a really good way to go. Bleeding Edge, there you have it. Tybalt's Rager, Bond the Flourishing, Tafiri Time Raveler. Holy smack me in the tease! That is the third Tafiri we have pulled. By the way, if you go back a video, someone's going to take home one of these Tefries. Um, it's in uh, the last booster box video I did, so go back and check that out. Oh, shit! <laughs> Smack me in the ball sack! Again! Oh, my God! Blast zone! Boom! Double up! Boom! Boom! Holy crap! I went boom in the womb! I was out in the room! Oh, my God! That is sick, man! The Blast Zone foil! Get off me! No one's on you. Oh, man! We are having a lot of fun here. Holy crap! Blast Zone foil! <laughs> Woo! That's what I'm talking about! Whoa, man! I did not see that coming. That caught me off guard. Oh, man. Oh, I can't wait to see what's inside of, um, or what's on the flip side of our pre-release. Oh, man, this is getting crazy. What's our promo going to be? Oh, my God. Death Sprout. That's some cool artwork. Did you ever just get close and just take a look at the artwork? She's floating, man. She could, she, is, she, is she a ghost? Or is, is, she, is she just like... Has she, has, she, has, she, has she been brainwashed? What is she doing? I don't know, man. It's crazy. Tyrant Scorn. Hotley, baby. Hotley! All up in it. And Ravnica at War. Exile all multicolored permanents. That could have a really... I mean, if you run it the right way, that could be really strong, man. That could be really strong. Just don't run any multicolored permanents, you know? Your opponent is almost guaranteed to be running multicolored. Especially in sealed. Just saying, so... Just throwing her out there. All right, we got the Hot Lays Raptor, which is not a bad card. When Hot Lays Raptor enters the battlefield, proliferates. Pretty powerful right there. Tyrant's Scorn. Arlen, Voice of the Pack. And Plain Wide Celebration. Yet again. Can't get enough of those. I just don't like it's such a high casting cost. Just, no. That's not a good card. I, I will say it to a blue in the face. Now, maybe... Because, okay, being that we are in sealed, that's not a bad card. But seven, you better hope you can survive long enough to be able to cast something like that. Because, man, some people, they like to run just really like cheap little spells that do the damage real quick. You know, they don't even care about too much synergy. They just come at you fast. So, Chandra's Triumph, another great card right there. It's really great. Neoform, Obnixilis, The Hate Twisted. Storev Dev Karen Leech. What's his name even do? It's a four drop legendary creature, zombie elf wizard. It's got trample whenever, uh, all that combat damage to a player or planeswalker returns your hand, target creature or planeswalker card in your graveyard that wasn't put there this combat. It's not bad. Oh, pops the diving hand of control foil. Woo, baby. We are off to such a good start. I mean, we, we, we are almost done. This is not even a start, this is a finish. This is a finisher, man. I like the auras on that thing. How cool is that? This is so... Oh, my God. Guys, and, and come hang out with me on Twitch. I'm asking you. Link in the description of every video. We're going to have fun tonight, man. We're going to have a good old time. Come hang out with me on Twitch. We'll have a blast, man. Price of Betrayal. Elite Gil Guard Mage. I always say Guild Mage. Anyone else get confused with that? Guard Mage, Guild Mage. Kaya Bane of the Dead. Silence of Merciful. Yet again... Just so many silent submersibles. We just can't stop. We can't get away from them. We just keep pulling them, man. I don't know what it is about those. That has to be, I think, the fourth silent submersible. Fourth. That's insanity. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's get to the good good. Vizier of 
the Scorpion. Also, we have our booster box. We'll be cracking open tomorrow, so check that out. Tybalt Rakesh Instigator. Ignite the Beacon. Man. Shapoopy. We got kind of Shapoopy. Not bad, though. We can easily go fetch our, tef our Teferi, so it's not really too bad. All right. Let's check it out, baby. Let's check it out. That is not what we're looking for. Here it is. Whoosh, whoosh. Nissa. Oh, wow. We got Nissa who shakes the world as a rare foot. Whoa. That's pretty sweet as a promo. So that means we have something pretty nasty on the, on the flip side, right? Command the Dreadhorde on the flip. Wow. So two rares in one. That is sweet, baby. That is too cool. Um, Could have been better cards. Just kidding. Just I'm just kidding. Stop it, guys. Uh, not bad, man. Got the foil Nissa and the foil command, the dread horde. This would have been a, a decent. This would have been a pretty. It would have been a decent pre release kit. I think I would be a little more concerned though with this one than some of the others I've opened. But wow, not bad, guys. Again, give your give yourself um, uh, your LGS a shout out. Show them some love in the comment section. And uh, yeah, skadoosh bags. I love you guys, man. I hope to see you on Twitch tonight. Skadoosh, skadink, skadink, skadoosh.